Hi guys, it's Jennifer with Diamond Nest Egg. So, buy I-bonds in April 2022 or wait? Well, to answer your question, my husband and I rushed to buy another $20,000 of I-bonds a few days ago. We've bought a lot of I-bonds already this year, and this video will go through why we rushed to get another I-bond order in this month. And the very latest date you should place your I-bond order by if you want to get the highest return possible from your I-bonds. Why did we rush to buy more I-bonds in April 2022? Because we want to grab this current I-bond interest rate of 7.12% for all I-bonds purchased before the end of April 2022. And we want to grab the projected I-bond interest rate of 9.62% from May 2022. So if you were to buy $10,000 of I-bonds for yourself in April 2022, similar to what we just did, here's what you'd earn in interest over the first 12 months. For the first six months, meaning April 2022 to September 2022, your I-bonds would earn you $356 of interest. That's this annualized yield of 7.12% for all I-bonds purchased in April, divided by two because it's only for six months. For those of you new to I-bonds, it doesn't matter when you buy your I-bonds in April, your I-bonds will start earning interest from the first of the month. And for the second six month period, meaning October 2022 to March 2023, your I-bonds would earn you an additional $498 of interest. That's this annualized yield of 9.62% that's expected to be announced in May. Again, divided by two because it's just for six months. Keep in mind that the interest on I-bonds is compounded semi-annually, meaning that in the second six month period, you're earning interest on your initial $10,000 I-bond investment plus the interest from the first six months that's now been added to that initial investment amount. Add these two numbers together and what you get is an 8.54% annualized yield on all I-bonds purchased in April 2022. Pretty good in my mind. You basically grab the current 7.12% I-bond rate for the first six months of your purchase as well as the expected new 9.62% I-bond rate in May for the second six months of your purchase. And that's why my husband and I rushed to buy another $10,000 of I-bonds for one another this month, April 2022. Now, both of us have already maxed out our individual regular I-bond purchase limit of $10,000 via Treasury Direct this year. And if you have as well, no worries. Check out our I-bond tutorials here. This video walks you through a completely legal I-bond loophole that I discovered, which has allowed us to buy more than the regular annual I-bond purchase limit of $10,000 individually via Treasury Direct. Maybe it can help you too, like it helped us. And this video goes through how we arrived at the annualized 9.62% I-bond rate for May, how the interest on I-bonds works, and what you could expect if you buy your I-bonds in May instead of April. And this one here, it's for those of you brand new to I-bonds. It shows you step-by-step step how to set up your Treasury Direct account, buy your first I-bond, and other I-bond limitations and restrictions you should be aware of. I've included the links to all these videos below. What date should you place your April I-bond order by? So, if you want to grab both the current 7.12% annualized rate and May's expected 9.62% annualized rate as well, like we have, place your order by Wednesday, April 27th, or even earlier, to be on the safe side. In my mind though, the sooner the better. Why wait? Where else is your money going to get such returns right now? And risk-free. But for those of you who do want to wait for whatever reason, here's why I chose Wednesday, April 27th. Because every IBON order I've ever placed, and I've placed a lot in recent months, has been processed the next business day. Meaning that if you were to place your order on Wednesday, April 27th, it should, in normal times, go through on Thursday, April 28th. These are not normal times though. 
and there's currently a gold rush towards I-bonds for those in the know, like you, me, and everyone else on this channel. So I added in that extra day as a buffer, which brings us to Friday, April 29th. Don't wait until Friday, April 29th to put your order in because it will in all probability only be processed the following week. Meaning you've missed your chance to grab that April 7.12% annualized IBON rate for the first six month holding period. So good luck with your IBON purchase or purchases. You guys know that I love IBONs right now. And as I mentioned earlier, be sure to check out our most popular IBON loophole video here on how I figured out a proper way to buy more than the regular annual IBON limit via Treasury Direct. It's something that not many folks know about, or if they do, they haven't shared it with you or me so far. I've let the cat out of the bag though, because let's face it, we all need some help fighting inflation right now. And for those of you making your first iBond purchase, as with everything new in life, before diving in, take a look at this latest iBond video here for the most important caveats or catches you should look out for when buying iBonds, such as the purchase limits, minimum holding period, method of purchase, and so on. Thanks for watching guys, and do hit that thumbs up, and if you enjoyed this video, or if you wanna be the first to know what we'll be doing with all the I-bonds we've bought this year, especially when inflation comes back down to more normal levels. As always, drop me a note here if you're interested in working together and reaching your financial goals quicker than you would be able to do on your own. See you soon with another money-saving, wealth-building video.